with the summer school All Just Rubbish, the ETH Sustainability provides a program for innovative product design and for finding new ways of confronting waste and related problems responsibly. For three weeks, the course offers 30 students from 18 disciplines and 18 nationalities the possibility to learn and work on case studies related to the themes of green product design, waste and material life cycles. The bachelor, master and PhD students were not only chosen according to academic strengths, creativity, technical and design related expertise, but also for their strong dedication to solve humanity's grand challenges. The summer school was divided into two parts. The first week took place in Emmental, where students received lectures on eco-design, waste and material flows from experts from ETH and other institutions. The summer school begins with a retreat to Emmental, a rural region in central Switzerland. During this first week, the participants stay in an ecological hotel where they receive an introduction to all topics relevant for their case studies in week two and three. In this remote area, the class has a chance to bond and share their unique backgrounds and perspective as they are spending most of the day together. Well, first, I think ETH is an excellent university. I like the idea of, of a summer school. I think it's a very relaxed and yet very professional way of engaging with younger students. I also have a commitment to working with young students and talking about the issues uh, that I think are important to them and to their future. So I've enjoyed that. I also like the, the technical issues associated with the agenda that ETH is, is involved in. As an architect uh, at school, there just has been a huge transition uh, moving towards sustainable building industry. Um, as I think Yale um, is a very innovative uh, discipline in architecture, um, we had designated one of the five core courses to sustainable design, actually. Um, I was always interested in the topic, but I felt I lacked the, the concentrated knowledge or I guess from a non-US perspective. Um, that's why I really wanted to this, just use this opportunity to expand my experience. I, th I think we've got a, a lot of challenges facing humanity at the moment. Uh, the next three decades could be the most difficult decades in the history of humanity. And so it's very important that we equip our students today with the kind of uh, tools that they could need to really address some of these problems, particularly things like energy and water and, and food, uh, which are increasingly going to become problematic in some parts of the world. In the workshop today, I tried to, first of all, introduce the students to the concept of biomimicry and how it's distinct from other approaches to design that use biological uh, sources of inspiration. And then we looked into some of the deeper principles of biomimicry, particularly how it can be used to address some of the really key challenges that uh, face us at the moment. So first I tried to give a brief overview of the methodology, um, what it is, what it can be applied for, and what it cannot be applied for. And then I tried to give some case studies which would be relevant in the summer school, like um, how it can be applied for product design in order to, um, to improve product life cycles, especially with regard to later waste treatment, and also about tools for waste management, for the environmental assessment and improvement of waste management. Well, I was very encouraged by the discussion we had. One thing is to give a talk, but a more important part is to have a dialogue and a discussion. I thought the quality of questions, I thought the thoughtfulness of questions was remarkable for such a, a young age group. And I think what was very interesting for me was to see all the different disciplines there. I understand there were 18 disciplines. And I think if we have any chance of moving towards sustainability, it will be when engineers talk to scientists, talk to economists, etc. And so I was very encouraged by the broad, the breadth of knowledge and the breadth of, of academic achievement and academic discipline that these, this group came from. I think my impression so far of the summer school is, is the, the other students, actually. I had really no idea what to expect, and I've been really pleasantly surprised and really impressed, particularly with the depth of knowledge in all of the different realms of, of backgrounds that people have, you know, and the designers and the, the engineers and the sociologists all coming together and able to, I mean, already in just four days, we've developed a really common language and we're able to think really critically about these problems and these ideas. 
Besides a challenging academic program, the summer school also offers possibilities to share cultural values, like here at the Culture Night, where students present songs, dances, and food from their home countries. <laughs> Der växer ringa pär om träd, där växer våra kölja och makrill och röten syl. Pling, 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 pling. Där växer bara kölja och makrill och röten syl. All the people that you meet, um, I met, and uh, the international um, character of the school, and also well, of course, the lectures, uh, the lecturers, and you meet so many people with great ideas and, and you talk all the time and it's intense, but I've learned more than in many lectures and I've only been here a few days, so that's what I've learned. After one week on the countrysides, the students are making their way back to Zurich to work on their case studies at ETH Zurich. They are split into three thematic groups to carry out a guided case study from an industry partner. The three thematic groups are wooden furniture, food packaging and washing machines. But the students do not only spend time on their case studies, but also on excursions, workshops and in-depth lectures. The Wood Furniture Case Study performs a life cycle impact assessment on three benchmark chairs. Based on their results, they then apply their sustainable design training and knowledge gained during the first week to create new chair designs and manufacturing processes. The conceptual work is accompanied by testing, refining and validating the approaches while putting them into practice through building models and prototypes. How I've applied many of the things I've learned like the uh, LCA in, in my project of the wooden furniture. I would like to take that back and apply it in whatever I, I'm doing for my thesis because in Singapore there's not much emphasis on environmental sustainability and I want to highlight this in my thesis. Students in the food packaging group conduct in-depth investigations into the life cycle of meat packaging coffee capsules and aseptic liquid containers. They quantify the impact that these products have on the environment and design improved systems or products that can achieve the same results as current packaging but minimize the negative effects using life cycle assessment, cradle to cradle design, biomimicry as well as green product design. Our case study is sometimes very interesting but on the other side very frustrating because packaging only makes out like 5 to 10% of the whole environmental impact. And we are um, spending hours and days working on this 5 to 10%. But on the other hand, it is really cool since we really can change something. The food packaging group is just a really fascinating group to watch because they're working really in depth on an element of life that so many of us ignore all the time. Like before we visited uh, Sigal Cap in Neuhaus and I never thought about the mechanism of opening my juice. And now students are dedicating two weeks to work on improving that system with regards to sustainability. The students in this case study conduct the in-depth life cycle analysis on two different washing machines of different ages. They compare the results and examine differences that arose based on age, country of use and other factors. The main goals were to apply life cycle assessment to the case study of uh, washing machines but not only by using um, existing databases, but also to have ex experimental uh, results um, achieved by, by the students. So we wanted them to go into the lab and really make some, some measurements uh, related to energy use and water use of the washing machines and then 
even take the washing machines apart in order to see what kind of material fractions uh, they have uh, in order to use this as, as a basic information for, for the life cycle assessment. I really, really enjoy it. I like the whole process of uh, we have the actual machine there and we are dismantling and working on it. And of course I'm very satisfied with our supervisors and my group, so I'm having fun. It's nice. At the end of the third week, the students showed the results of their case studies during a final presentation. They demonstrate that they not only increase their knowledge on global waste flows, as well as on ecological impact and risks, they also gained instruments with which to analyze the entire life cycle of individual products and generate creative alternatives. And they applied this new knowledge on concrete problems in order to develop ecologically sound product alternatives. I have learned a lot of general, general things from this, which has more to do with uh, person and individuals and teams and interaction and then there's the tacit knowledge of that I have more knowledge about how uh, the waste industry works, more about sustainability and a lot of great input when it comes to biomimicry and cradle to cradle and yeah, HES formats and material flow analysis and LCAs and I think I will maybe not be the one who sits and make a concrete LCA, but now I know what it's about, I know how I can use it, I can use it, maybe I will not use it in the sense of getting every single detail out, but more to map out where can you improve a system as a whole. I'm really happy with the outcome of the summer school, especially with the students, they were amazing participants, very bright, really enthusiastic. Um, they had great discussions with the expert and the case study supervisors. Um, I was also really impressed by the results they showed on the last day with what creative and impressive ideas they came up. And I think that was part of the success was that we've chosen the case studies together with industry partner so that they could work on real life problems. And I also think that the interdisciplinarity of the program added a great value because um, architects could talk to engineers and vice versa, which um, normally doesn't happen. So overall, I'm really happy with the outcome and we're already planning the next summer school. Hi, Hi, how are you? Welcome. Good to Ciao. Hi. Moyen. Salut, Sama. Hola. Bonjour. Hi. Ni hao. Hey, Sam. Hi, Sama. Hola. Salut. Hi. Papa Kaba. Hi. Salut. Kalispera. Hello, Sama. Are you born? Good to Namaste. Moin, moin. Bonjour. Oh, yeah, you're Medita. Hi, Sama. Hello. Bonjour.